You mentioned the, the opportunity that's available here in Chicago kind of being a, a, a deciding factor in coming here. How much are you aware of that when you're here at camp or think about it? Uh, I mean, you're, you know, your name's thrown out there a lot as a guy who could fill one of those spots. Is that something you're focused on and that's a motivating factor or are you just trying to play, play your own game, get better and just kind of see what happens? Right, it's uh, something you hear quite a bit, um, but I'm just here to play my game um, and wherever that takes me, it'll take me. Um, I think like everyone knows, a lot of young guys are going to get opportunities throughout the year. Um, I think they said they had 12 guys up and down last year, um, so there's going to be opportunity throughout the year. And it's just um, every guy's got to make the most of it, and hopefully um, I can be one of those guys that sticks. So you come into an organization now with Joel Quenville behind the bench, second most wins of any coach in the history of the NHL, Stan Bowman, the GM, the architect of a couple Stanley Cup championships here in Chicago. What's it like to be involved in an organization with people who are at the top of their profession? It's one of probably the most professional run organizations um, in sports and especially the NHL. So it's a pleasure to, to work with those guys and communicate with those guys. I mean, you just got to cherish every moment, take everything you can get in, um, learn from them and uh, just keep getting better every day. We sat down with Nick Schmaltz uh, a couple days ago, did the same thing. Um, pretty familiar with him being here over a couple years with him. And unfortunately for you in the, in the NCAA tournament, getting knocked out by him. Seeing him for a few years now, seeing him in, in, on the ice in college, what impresses you about his game? I think his skill level. Skill level in skating. He's got the ability to make plays all over the ice. Um, his speed is something I think uh, doesn't get enough credit for, um, but his goal scoring touch and his ability to, to make guys around him better I think is something that not everyone noticed. They all know his high-end skill, um, but his ability to make other players better is something I think goes unnoticed a little bit. So you jumped up and scored a lot more goals last year at Michigan than you had in the past. Is that kind of a conscious thing to focus on finding the net and being more of a goal scorer or is it just kind of developed that way for you? I think the opportunity this year was a little bit more um, to the produc offensive production side of things. Got a lot of opportunities from my line mates and was just able to finish those opportunities. Uh, but my mindset hasn't changed too much. Still play the 200 foot game, be uh, defensively responsible. Um, and then when those opportunities come, just make the most of them. And I think that happened uh, more this past year than maybe in years past. Uh, but I don't think the, the mindset has changed at all.